welcome back to the mom's view how are you ladies good my pants are really hairy right now <laughs> <laughs> my sweater is shedding here we are at the mom's view we have hairy, hairy pants. legs hairy so pants hairy legs it is a season armpit. where you don't have to shave your legs as much anymore <laughs> <laughs> it's true <laughs> but then they just get itchy i know that's true that. I hate until that they get so long that they don't itch anymore they're just soft <laughs> that's true <laughs> and you break that, that does happen then <laughs> they pop through your tights at church <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jacqueline's like, Does, doesn't it bother you with your leg hair being that long? Like, doesn't it come through your pants? I'm like, it's not that long. And I was like, yeah, and I was like, oh, that's a problem. You can't take care of that. That's so funny. I was just having this conversation with Braylee, which is so funny because she just started shaving her legs and she was like, have you ever noticed like when your leg hairs grow a little bit, then they rub against your jeans and it hurts? And I was like, yes. <laughs> See, shaving your legs isn't that great. <laughs> it's not. It's She's great. learned that very quickly. Like, oh, this isn't that awesome. <laughs> I know. And you cut yourself. And they and, cut, yeah. yeah. And then it's just like a pain in the butt because you have to do it so much. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was funny. Sorry. Tangent. Leg hair. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mom's you tangents. <laughs> yes. Well, what are some updates? I want to hear you guys' updates. Fall is here. I it's beautiful fall. in the air. I'm Allergies are yeah. like fully setting oh, in. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm so bad. It's really bad. Mm, bad, 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 bad. Cooper started playing flag football. That's really fun. That's that is so fun. fun. It's How fun are you feeling? Because it's like ball and football and you guys know I love football yes. the Broncos are like two and oh we have a loss mm-hmm. so it's really great <laughs> um I feel fine just still a little bit tired but yeah I mean I can't complain I think like thinking back to when you're pregnant with Winston how much you threw up I'm like I could not have done that yeah so I haven't I thrown up I'm always like yeah. pretty healthy <laughs> yeah I feel like I forgot <laughs> how terrible that actually is <laughs> yeah. you know like you just think like, oh, I could do that again. And this pregnancy, I haven't been as sick as I was with Winston, but I've thrown up more. And I think it's just because I feel good enough to eat. I still feel like we can't talk about you being pregnant. So I was like, oh yeah, she's telling them. (laughs) Oh yeah, we we can talk about it now. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, So, um, so I feel good enough to eat, but I, I've been throwing up, but I did finally get some medicine that has helped, but it gives me headaches. So it's like, No. What do you do? But things we do for our babies. You Not know? glamorous. Yeah. <laughs> but then after it's all over, it's like you forget. And then you're just like, oh, I think I could do that again. Like right now, I'm like, this is my last baby. No matter what. <laughs> I'm not having it anymore. I feel really good about that decision. But after I have it, like, what if knows? it was twins? It's not. I did get an ultrasound. Oh, yeah. And there's one. I told Casey that I got to see the baby because he's hunting. And he was like, was there only one? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he always question. thinks that we're having twins. Was like, there yes, only one? There was only one. <laughs> Thank goodness with a billion exclamation marks. (laughs) I think that it would be fun to have twins for someone who is more organized than me. (laughs) I feel like I would be a disaster. Like, no, I I don't know. I think that multiples are so amazing and such a, a, like a gift. What an amazing gift to get more than one baby at one time. But I just think that there are people that can do it and there are people that cannot. And I know that cannot. (laughs) There's a mom on Cooper's soccer football team and she has twin little girls. And she said that like from day one, she like some other mom gave her this folder about everything you should know about twins. That's awesome. And she said that everything she thought she was going to do was like totally opposite advice of what this woman gave her. And she said that you schedule them at the same time for everything. So then it's Mm -hmm. not like, because I would have thought you like schedule them a little bit off so you can feed one and Mm -hmm. then feed the other. And she said, no, you want to do everything at the same time. And her girls are like five or six now. And she's like, they still poop at the same exact (laughs) time. That's so funny. Like that's kids and moms. That's amazing. I was like, that's so cool. So I know. I feel like you have to be organized like that. My cousin Jessie had twins and she loved it. Like it was such a special thing for her, but she is very, very organized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember going to see her and she was nursing them at the same time that's and so awesome she's like you go girl incredible <laughs> that's like even angel she had it scheduled yeah, to where yeah. she would change her diaper at a certain time and i was like well what if they need it before that and she goes well they wait till the time <laughs> or you know like she just had it she, on i time. love how logical she is but it worked things. out she's just like that's just what you do yeah yeah and she remember she was doing school like getting yes. her master's i'm yes. like what are you super angel woman? girl I don't know how she does everything. She I know. Is. But she is one that can have twins. Right. And exactly. I never I never hear her complain either. No. Mm-mm. She doesn't complain. Even her pregnancy. Like, yeah, she I didn't com- gain that much weight. I'm like... And she never complained. Like, I complained with one. Like, I'm going to die. I'm so huge. <laughs> she had two. She's like, yes, squatting at the gym today. I'm yeah. like... I can barely go to the gym. I, I was not pregnant her. at the time. Oh, I, I miss her so much. No, I'm going to get her up here because we had Charizard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We should maybe do like a fun special Christmas episode oh, where be, we yeah. can get them to come up here. So amazing. They can see real snow. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> How really is the winter. I know like that um, Crocs video that we did yes, and there was, was like fake, fake snow. That was fun. <laughs> that was yeah. so fun. fun. What awesome. about you, Tolette? You've been busy? 
Um, yes, we're full swing football, soccer. Brock's doing soccer and he's Aww. so cute. <laughs> That's so funny to watch him at soccer. He's so fun and he's such a little hustler. He's really good. Yeah. And so I'm just proud of him. And Avi is doing cheer, of course. And cross country. I saw she was doing so, she did so good in like the race and they're both she doing it together, did. right? That's so fun. Yes. And she's awesome. Running yeah. is so good for kids. I know. She didn't stop one time. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot. I was like, yeah. Hey, yeah, I, guess. I just feel like she has like her dad's fire. Yeah. For things like that. You yeah. know, like that competitive. She has yes. a very, very deep competitiveness in mm-hmm. her, which I absolutely love. I'm like, you get it, girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know. Oh, I'm just proud of the fact that Braylee does like does it at all because I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, yes, it's fine. If you need to walk, you walk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what I would do. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's what I there was one kid that, you know, came in quite a bit after everybody else and in my mind I was like you know that's the kid that I feel like I'm most proud of like of course I'm most proud of my daughter but but out of the other kids I just felt like that's the kid that like didn't think they could do it but still did it had a hard time but is still doing it you know like isn't afraid of what people are gonna think oh I'm coming in last what are people gonna think they don't care they're just gonna go out there and they're gonna try it and they're gonna do it and push themselves yeah and watching all of the kids at the very end you can tell like they give it everything that they have at the end of running two miles they're just giving it everything those things make me cry every time Mm -hmm. I don't even have to know the person and I'll just see them like you're so great and I'll just start crying yeah Oh, yeah, cute. Maybe it's the hormones. I don't know, but those oh, things always make me cry. Hormones. <laughs> I cried at a dog food commercial the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Jackson was like, you are losing your mind. And I was like, but this dog, you could tell he was hungry. And he was like, what? <laughs> I am right there with you. I, I like ugly cry over everything. Like, oh yeah, Pete's yeah. dragon, the worst. I was such like a good sobbing. Movie. <gasps> Cooper, Cooper cried too though, but it was such a good movie. I was you're like, like crying right now just crying. talking about her. Yeah. And you're so cute. <laughs> They're just watery. It's allergies. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, You're so cute. Anyways, crying. <laughs> Dog food. Moving on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What is my problem? I was talking about my leg hair. I should just go take a nap. <laughs> I love it. It's going to be a fun next few months. I know. I'm yeah. excited. We're going to share there. too much. We're going to experience things that we'll share too much about. I can't wait to like, <laughs> yeah. when it's like time to share the things that like people don't want to talk about. I'm ready to talk about them. Like when I sneezed, I peed the other day. Yeah. 100%. I was like, I think I just peed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Jackson's like, I do that do now. Do we need to go to the doctor for that? I'm like, no, I don't think so. It's fine. <laughs> It's just a little bee. <laughs> That's so cute that he's like so concerned about yeah. everything. Like he is the best. Like anything. If I like move in that, he's like, oh, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yes, I'm fine." He's like, "Okay, I'm just checking." <laughs> I'm like, it's like the opposite. I'm always like, "I felt a pain." And Casey's like, "You've done this four times. Like you know you're okay." Still. Yeah. That's yeah. so cute. I love hearing about you guys' pregnancies. <gasps> we can't wait to hear about, about yours. <laughs> Jinx or jinx or <laughs> Well, I mean, we've definitely talked about it, but it's just one of those things. I'm like, I really don't feel that push. Yeah. I mean, other than like, I do want to be pregnant with you guys. That would be so fun. Mm-hmm. But you gotta, there's you know, just when you're so ready, many other yeah. things going on that I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine adding being pregnant, and doing pregnancy that, yeah. onto this. I know yeah. that I have felt a lot of anxiety because I feel like there's a lot going on, and there are mm-hmm. things that are important to me that I have just been too sick to do anything about. Like my channel, yeah. Like I'm like my channel. Yeah, I didn't is upload so for like a month. Yeah, my channel is so important to me, and I haven't uploaded for a week. And I'm like, well, I'm just failing at everything in my life, and I'm not. terrible at getting back to emails. And it is hard. I know that like, feeling. Yeah. Like okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> here we go. <gasps> I, just, I don't. I feel like it's taken me a little bit longer because I wasn't mentally prepared. Mm-hmm. You know, with happened and I had to. Thought. I had to try, and so it was like. I was trying, trying, trying. I knew that it was going to happen and I was preparing myself for that. And to have a surprise, it's like, oh, oh, this is happening. (laughs) And so it's just taken me a little bit. It's kind of fun though, like when you're not expecting it. It is fun, yeah. And it's such a blessing. I know how lucky I am, but it's just been. You do have to wrap I'm in shock. Like, I honestly, I feel like I'm still in shock. Did you try it for like seven months to get Winston? And yeah. then you weren't really trying that hard with it. No, I mean, we really See, the trying. Lord works in mysterious ways, but they're mm-hmm. always done in the right way. Yeah. Yeah. It's meant to be. Yeah. Please. Babies. So um, my topic of the day does go along with the updates that I had. Okay, so here's the scenario. I was watching the vlog. Okay, so when, first of all, in the car, Brock was saying how he didn't want to go to soccer because um, he didn't feel like he was good enough to play because the other kids were taller than him. 
and he kind of made this comment and I noticed that in the vlogs I had said something like when I was watching Avia finish her race at the cross country thing I was like look she's competing with all these tall girls like I said that and in my mind I was like what does that mean about me like I kind of worried that because I'm sort of projecting like I was proud of her because she was competing with these girls that I thought you know maybe had a longer stride or whatever and that she was you know like she was able to beat them and I was proud of that because maybe like part of me feels like I couldn't do that when I was a kid because I was short and maybe I psychologically held myself back because I thought I was short and I thought Am I projecting that onto my kids by saying stuff like that? Like in my mind, I was proud of her and I was like, look at she's competing with all these tall girls. But by saying that, am I projecting the fact that, oh, you're short, maybe you, maybe you can't do this or something like right. that. What do you guys think about that? Because I was kind of struggling with that. Like, am I projecting my own insecurities onto my kids by saying that? But in my mind, I was like so proud of her for... Right maybe that not being an issue for her. Yeah. Right. That's so funny because I felt opposite. I was always taller and I thought shorter girls were faster because they're tiny and they're like, <laughs> really? and I felt like I was like, here we go. <laughs> you know, because like, I was always here so much taller than everyone that it was like getting my body to like get going. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. So that is funny that we do that. Like we think something and, and I do yeah. think that sometimes we do project that onto our children. Mm-hmm. But that's a really hard one because I think really hard. our intentions as mothers obviously are not ever to do that. I mean, I don't think you would ever intentionally mean right. to tell Brock, well, you're too short to do that. Or, exactly. And it's, I think it's kind of a thing where you're just being honest and it's coming out. Your honesty is just coming out. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But I do think it is something that we have to watch for because I know... I've heard Cooper say things that I know I'm obsessed with and it's really affected how he sees himself physically. Mm -hmm. And that was like kind of an awakening moment for a mom. And I think as a parent, that happens a lot. You realize how much your kids, one, take in mm -hmm. and two, remember, actually remember what you're saying and adopt that for themselves exactly. as their personalities. Mm -hmm. I think our intentions obviously are never to make our kids feel bad, but I think that how we are as humans happens a lot because of our nurture and nature mm -hmm. you know the nature of how we're our environment how we you know how we were raised how our parents made rules how they saw and accepted themselves and then how we were nurtured which you know i think says a lot about you can see i think you can see it in a lot of kids um just like the breakdowns of like families and i think we do our best and you just have to love your kids. But I think yeah. I always go back to the intention thing. So it's like, it's not like you're intentionally meaning to be like, Brock, you're just too small, you know? Yeah. Well, and I don't, and in my mind, I was like, did I ever say anything about that to Brock? And I didn't. No. Like about, because I, I mean, there are some kids on his team that are tall, but I don't think I ever mentioned it. Mm -hmm. But then I realized that I did mention it in Avia's meet. So then it started to make my mind go like, did I say anything to him? Did I like, am I projecting my own fears? But then I was like, well, maybe that's just something he observed. Like, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't think you should put it on you. No. Because kids know. Like I always knew I was taller than other kids and mm -hmm. you know, and you, you always knew you were shorter than other kids. We recognize those things. So yeah. you shouldn't take the like guilt and, well, and, I think and worry. It's important to stop and ask them like, well, why do you think that? Like, where did you hear that from? You right. know, it, cause I think like, I imagine Brock, he's obsessed with Marvel and superheroes. Yeah. And he sees them all as really big and quick and fast. So maybe it's just like one of those things that's that innocent, you know, that he mm -hmm. thinks that like, oh, to be strong and fast, you have to be big like these superheroes. It could be something that innocent where you're like, oh, no, that's because they're grownups, you know, or yeah. I don't know. That is a really good point too. If you do notice that is to turn it into a positive. That's what I've done with Braylee because she's taller than other girls in right. it and she feels bigger than other girls. And I always tell her all of the great things about being tall. Mm -hmm. There are so many great things about being tall and you know, and she looks older, which she likes and you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I always turn those things into a positive and we talk about it and how grateful we are for our bodies and that, you know, we, yeah. we talk about all of those things, and I think that there are so many great things about being short. Right. Yeah. So just to talk about all the great things about being short and mm -hmm. and that they will grow and that they, you know, should just be happy with their bodies. And, yeah. like, Brock's really awesome at so many things. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be, like, a little Tom Cruise or something. The way he has, <laughs> like, the energy and his, like, 
personality and character. It's like he's bound for big things, you can yeah. tell, in that low he's body so of fun. his. He's so fun to watch play soccer, too, because he's a yeah. hustler. Like, he's not afraid to go in there and get the ball. Yeah. And, and I guess, I, like, I watch my kids, and I just, I do, I feel so proud of the things that they're doing, and I start to think about myself, and I'm like, you know, am I, like, I don't want to hold them back in any way. Like, I right. want to just let them shine and, and instill in them in, like, their own magnificence, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't want them to ever be insecure and hold themselves back, which I know, like, everybody does. Mm -hmm. They're always going to have those things about themselves that they're like, I don't know about this. And, and, you know, whether they got it from something I said or from society, I just really want them, I want to allow them a place where they can be who they are when they're with me you do you know? that's hard that's so hard too because like cooper talks nonstop about being a professional football player mm -hmm. and like the likelihood of that happening like he is very athletic and talented enough and i of course will support that but sometimes i'm like is, are we setting him up for something you know like how do you balance that because like what's the likelihood of that happening and then how do you balance like you also want to give them something else to work for. Cause I don't want, I just don't want Cooper to put all of his eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. I think that if you have a goal, you go for that hundred percent, but you should have other things that you're like also trying for mm -hmm. just because life changes so quickly and you never know. But then I feel the same. I'm like, am I holding him back? Should I be putting all of these eggs in this basket for him? Like he eats, sleeps and lives football. Like I'll catch him watching ESPN highlights and he'll know, he knows uh -huh. everything like, about any player on any team and I'm just like oh no. my gosh like <laughs> I don't push him to be like that and I love football but like him and I can sit down and have a full-on conversation about a football game he's like no mom that wasn't holding that was da -da 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 -da. I'm like oh, okay <laughs> but I it's like it. it's so hard because it's like how do you support something that they want so badly but at the same part you're the adult and you see the like cautionary things that could happen and I just always tell Jackson I'm like I just don't want to put all his eggs in one basket because it's like what if that doesn't work out and I don't want him to feel like a has-been you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. those you know we all know those that one person that's like when I played football 10 years ago I threw yeah. that football over mountain <laughs> and you're like great that was 10 years ago let's move on <laughs> you know like one of those kinds of things but yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Like, it can be hard because you do want to, like, just support him yeah. in his dreams. But at the same time, you don't want to support him, over-support him. So are he... I mean, I, right. I feel like if you just allow him to discover what he wants to do, and it's yeah. like... I mean, I guess you find a balance where is he doing this because he thinks I want him to be a football player? Right. Or is he doing this because he truly loves it? Or is he doing this because... You know, like, maybe just get in his head a little bit and be like, oh, what other kind of stuff do you like? Yeah. Like, why do you feel like you're loving football so much? And without projecting any judgment or opinions on... Yeah, good or bad. You know, just, just kind of like let him space. discover it in yeah. his mind. That's a good <laughs> like point. Like this. That's, that's how, how, I, that's how I think things are. Yeah. Like, okay, let's think this one through. No, that's a really good point. Yeah. I, I just... Know. Yeah. Like... Well, maybe we should sit down and watch a movie Concussion. <laughs> Just know, right? to like, you know. <laughs> but then it's like, you don't want him to be afraid. I know. Oh, yeah. How do you parent perfectly? You can. I know. Just you do your best. Oh, that's that's try. And I think as long as your kids know you support them and you're there for them, that that's the most important mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Because who knows? Maybe he'll grow up and play for the Broncos. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Who knows? He could. And maybe he'll all of a sudden be like, you know what? I like painting. I don't like football. <laughs> right. I know. That it's a, like such a, a weird age, I feel like, yeah. because they do have these big dreams, and then they're, but they're going to change so much. Right. It's like, got to just keep supporting everything that they come <laughs> oh, up I with. Yeah. Okay, now you want to be a tap dancer. Okay, yeah. let's go in that direction. Yeah. It makes me think of the movie Eddie the Eagle, which I know Cooper loves. He's obsessed with but it. But like how his mom just kind of was silently supportive the whole time. Yeah. Even though maybe in her mind she's like, maybe he won't be, but... It's a possibility, and he yeah. wants to do it, so I'm going to support him in his dream. But I feel like Cooper has that same dri you know? drive as him. He's, like, obsessed with it. Uh -huh. And that's, I feel like, how Eddie the Eagle was. And then Cooper, like, became obsessed with that movie, and I was like, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that's a good point. Maybe I should just silently be always, like, cheerleader for life, which I will. It's just, I think that's the hardest thing as a parent is not to intervene in something that you think could possibly hurt your children. Right. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that's the hardest thing as a mom is letting them get hurt because that's like the lesson that they learn. How they learn, right. Like, okay, well, if you play football, can you just be like the kicker? <laughs> don't get hurt that much. They yeah, barely please. have any contact. <laughs> They'll totally support it. <laughs> oh, that's bad, awesome. Man. You're an awesome mom. You guys are both awesome moms. You're an awesome mom. Yeah. See, we're awesome. Big or small. <laughs> yeah. We're all great. I know. <laughs> I know, I said. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're right. Uh, Don't start, I'll start great. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it.
appreciate you guys because I really, yeah, I kept thinking about that. Like, oh, am I projecting my own no. fears on them? I think it's you wonderful know? that you even thought of that. I'm I did sure too. so many parents wouldn't have even thought of that. They would have been like, oh, you're fine. They're just because they're, you know, it's, it just goes to show that you're constantly trying to better yourself. And that says volumes about you. So good yeah. job. You awesome. And plus we're around like, you all the time. So we know that you're an awesome mom. And we know that you're not doing that. <laughs> yeah. We won't let you suck. Friends don't let friends suck. <gasps> they don't. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it funny though, when our kids are going through things, it's like, did I do that? Did right. I cause that? Totally. Is that because of me? <laughs> totally. Yes. But it, I'm, it is something that you worry about because it's just like, did I say that to affect that? But, yeah. And sometimes I know I, I know I do stuff like that, but I think if you're just able to I don't know. Recognize those things and do your best. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You. Yep. Right? Yeah, very true. Amen. Take yes. a nap if that doesn't work out. I know. Right? <laughs> Just sleep it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the topics we have today. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it because I I count on my sisters yeah, we to help me. We need each other. Life is hard. Being a parent is hard, and you guys, I know you're going through hard things too. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on this topic or any yeah. other topics that you might have in mind that, you know, some questions or things you're going through you want to talk about. Let us know, and as always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.